Hi. Now, as usual, what I'll do is just give you a moment to read this question if you haven't tried it already, and uh, just pause the video, come back when ready, and uh, you can check your work solution with mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So we've got here then the rectangular hyperbola H has Cartesian equation X, Y equals 25. The point P, coordinates 5P, 5 over P, and the point Q, 5Q, 5 over Q, where P and Q do not equal zero and P doesn't equal Q. We're told that they are points on the rectangular hyperbola H. And in part A, we've got to show that the equation of the tangent to the point P then is P squared Y plus X equals 10P. So if you're finding the equation of a tangent then at any point on the curve, what we need to do first of all is differentiate the curve to get the gradient to any point X. So I'd want to rearrange this so that we have y equals 25 over x, or 25x to the power minus 1. Differentiating this in the usual way would therefore give us dy by dx equals minus 25x to the power minus 2, which is going to be 25 then over x squared. And we need to look at the gradient when x equals 5p. So we'll put here when x equals 5p, we have that dy by dx, therefore dy by dx, equals minus 25 divided by x squared. Well, if x is 5p, x squared is going to be 25p squared. And the 25s cancel, just leaving us with minus 1 over p squared. OK, so that's the gradient of the tangent then at the point p. So we're now in a position to find the equation of the tangent at p. So let's just put a short intro here. Therefore, equation okay, of tangent at P is. Now, just going to use the form y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1, taking x1, y1 as these two points here. So what we've got is y minus y1, so it's going to be 5 over P, equals m, the gradient, which is now minus 1 over P squared, and that's multiplied by x minus x1, which is the 5p. And I'd want to get rid of the fractions here, so I'm just going to multiply through by p squared. If we do that, we're going to get p squared y. Next term will be minus 5p. And here we'll be just left with minus 1 times the brackets. This is going to give us minus x then plus 5p. And you can see that we're getting to this. If I was just to add x to both sides and add 5p to both sides, then we end up with what we've got to prove. That is, therefore, p squared y plus x equals 10p. All right? Now, in part b, what we've got to do is find, or well, it says write down the equation of the tangent at the point q. Well, clearly, because the pattern structure here is exactly the same as the pattern structure here, only we're just replacing the P with a Q now, then clearly the equation of the tangent at Q, all right, let's just put it here, at Q, that tangent is going to have the same form. It's just going to be Q squared Y plus X equals 10Q. All right.